I have been in London for just under one week now. I'm staying at my parents' place. This is their view. It's quite nice. But I have decided that today's adventure is going to be going and getting my head on because at the moment it looks like I've got a dead animal living on my head. So I've decided that today I'm gonna go get my head on. I'm gonna draw something for the first time in like a week and a half. <laughs> and I'm going to make another vlog about all the little things that I have sort of noticed in my first week of living in London, um, of like differences between here and Sydney. So you'll hear all about that when I have my new hair and I come back. See you soon. And I'm back. You like? It's different. Uh, if you're going to watch me, this thing here will change a lot. I'm gonna turn off my computer actually because I feel like my face is gonna be blue. Mm, I just want you to sleep. Better? Probably. So yeah, like I said, I was going to run through a list of some of the things that I have noticed are a little bit different in London to Sydney. Different in London to from Sydney? Whatever. So I'm gonna go get my list now and come back. Eh. <sighs> I'm back again. <laughs> I've been writing a list of things that I have found peculiar about London culture or just the way of life here or the way things operate. Bear in mind this is from my first week in London so here are a couple of things I have noted. Thanks for telling me that George Blagden retweeted a photo. I needed to know. Yes, so okay. <laughs> this is, yes, this is from my first week in London. So here are some of the things I have noticed. First off, water comes out of the cold tap cold. Like freezing cold. <laughs> and you may be thinking, yes, Jazzy, well done. How very astute. Cold water does come out of the cold tap. But if you've lived in Sydney your whole life, you'd know that for a few months of the year at least, uh, you can expect to have at best lukewarm water coming out of the tap. And when you turn on the hot tap, um, you could probably make a cup of tea. <laughs> anyway, um, trains operate on time and they come like every three minutes. Like, if I want to get somewhere and I look up the train times online, I, I will get there by the time it tells me online. <laughs> it just happens and it's really good. <laughs> so, for example, the first night I was in London, I went up to meet a mate of mine, Anna, and the internet told me that it would take 20 minutes to get from my place to the Angel, which was the station where we were meeting and it took me 20 minutes to get from my place to the Angel. Like, it blew my hippie noodle. <laughs> um, okay, other things. People walk uh, on the wrong side of the footpath and they stand on the wrong side of the elevator. Elevator, escalator, escalator, and elevator's a lift. But yeah, people, like, okay, so you drive, on the correct side of the road here. You drive on the left-hand side of the road, but you walk on the footpath on the right-hand side of the footpath and you stand on an escalator on the right-hand side of an escalator. It doesn't make sense. It simply made sense. You just drove on the left and walked on the left and stood on the left and everything was left. Central heating over here is like really efficient. <laughs> These are all probably very obvious things for me to be noticing and I'm sorry but it's blowing my mind guys. What else did I have? Um, cars. Cars are small. Like not just small, they're ridiculously tiny. I mean I get it because the roads are also impossibly small. Like whoever was building the roads back whenever they built the roads in England what they were not planning for the future and for the progression of technology and the advent of the car. But still, they're tiny and you shoot down these things at like 
80 kilometers an hour, sorry. 40 miles an hour. Wait, no, it'll probably be about 50 miles an hour. Far out. Also, that's another thing, miles. Miles and inches and like feet. <sighs> Just use centimeters, guys. Centimeters and meters and kilometers. It's all hundreds. Like I learned the other day, what's it meant to be? A yard. I think a yard was the thing that's like the length of the king's elbow to his finger. And if I'm wrong about that, I'm sorry. This is my first week. But there's like 1760 or some stupid number of that in a mile. Like, <sighs> anyway, um, birds. Birds are nice here. Birds actually sing. Because birds in Australia don't sing. Birds in Australia sound like this. Which to me sounds like a nightmare. Anyway, what was my other thing? I had another thing. Oh yeah, I was watching TV the other night and I noticed in all of the ads that every second ad was for like either some sort of constipation relief or for money loans. So I've deduced that people are getting overly stressed about not having any money and can't poop properly. There you go, modern day Sherlock. Um, anyway, so that was just a couple of things that have entirely blown my mind this week. I mean, I have visited the UK before and technically, you know, my dad's from the UK, so some of these things were not too surprising, but the thought that I'm going to be living in this culture where all of these things are different is just... <sighs> I still sort of don't believe it a little bit. Anyway, so tonight I am going to do a speed paint for the first time in like a week and a half. Oh, I can't wait. Um, so that'll probably go up before this video goes up. Um, and then I'll be hopefully starting my job at some point. And then I'll be flat hunting um, and trying to find somewhere to live. So if you want to keep up to date with me and see how I go, um, that's fine. If you don't, also totally fine. If you just want to see my art, like I've said in the past, just watch the art stuff. That's cool with me. And if you just want to watch my face and this vlog, again, you're nuts, uh, but that's okay too. So I guess I will speak at you again soon. Uh, and until then, be safe, be happy, be warm. If you're living in the Northern Hemisphere, like me. Um, yeah, catch you later. Bye. It's spiky. Ooh, ooh, it's like grass. Freshly cut grass. That's not weird, is it?